Along with the Budokai Tenkaichi series, the Dragon Ball Raging Blast series is honestly very notorious throughout all of Dragon Ball gaming. Today, we have this insane gameplay simulation of Dragon Ball Raging Blast 3, and oh my gosh, you have got to see this, folks. It's something that has to be watched, so let's go ahead and get into this. All right, folks, here it is. Shout out to Trevax. I'm gonna leave a link to his Twitter and YouTube down in the description below so you guys can check this out. Make sure you guys support him because this is absolutely insane. But what he does is that he sort of makes like his own animation gameplay simulation and it does look a little bit buggy but that's just because of the simulation that he's using but despite it looking a little bit choppy this looks absolutely insane from what i've heard i've not reacted to it yet i've seen this on twitter and i saw people doing reactions so i thought it'd be really cool to look at this i'm so hyped to see this bro like i love raging last and to see how this takes on like a tenkaichi sort of aspect and now we're going to see it like adapt like basically raging blast gameplay oh my gosh dude i'm just so freaking excited so this is the youtube video here this isn't actually a game that you can play this is literally just animated it's just gameplay simulation it says this animated fan art is my tribute to the sparking games and my gift to those who supported the dragon ball raging blast 3 project between 2010 and 2017 i hope you'll like it dude seven years working on this is insane dude dude check him out in the description below dude this is insane but let's go ahead and get into this oh my my gosh dude i'm so freaking i've seen oh my gosh okay now first thing is, is like i said this is not a game oh this is so cool he has all the forms okay so uh first thing is like i said this is not actually like a game this is takes on a game aspect this is this is not a game that you can play so if you're wondering if you can play this no you cannot but dude they literally this character roster looks so insane bro they have literally every version of goku they have piccolo they have kami i don't even know how they have kami they have yakon they have Spopovich. They have Champa. All of Universe 6, basically. I see Goku Black, Hit, Baby, uh, Android 13, Broly, uh, all of Bojack's army. They have a uh, freaking... What's it called? What's this guy's name? Garlic Jr. Sorry, Garlic Jr. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> Dude, they probably have Bobbity in here somewhere as well. Just just because why not? Like, like they have Janimba. They have Harutagon in here too, dude. Not even like the evolved like hatch shell Harutagon. They literally just have the, the, the pre-staged Harutagon that's just so cool dude this freaking roster dude i want budokai tank guy or dragon ball sparking zero i want it to look this character roster i want it to be like a copy and paste or maybe a little bit more i don't know this character roster is very large though i think this is even more than the original budokai tenkaichi games but anyways they they show the forms here which is from normal to super saiyan super saiyan 2 super saiyan 3 all the way up to uh master ultra instinct so oh my gosh dude and i think i've seen okay they have the outfits too and this is just a standard. These look a lot similar to the. Uh, Z oh no, they don't have the training. Okay, okay. <laughs> At first, I was gonna say these look a lot similar to the Xenoverse Two. Like, how do I say this? Like the Xenoverse Two outfits, but then they added like the training and the yard rat clothes, which is insane because they don't have that on Xenoverse Two. And they probably, yep, they have Goku's uh, orange like jacket gi. This is just insane. And you can pick your special attacks. Dude, I hope Budokai Tenkaichi 4 or Sparking Zero is like this a little bit, or, or it takes on this format a little bit, because that's insane. They're also going to go with Piccolo. I think they're doing what, like a 5v5 or something like that. Okay, they're going with Vegeta Scouter. Uh, they have different versions of Vegeta, though, don't they? They have this Vegeta, and then, yeah, there's another Vegeta down here, and then there's Vegeta GT. They have, oh, they also have Tarble here, dude. That's insane. Okay, are, is this guy actually going to do a 5v5, or is he just going to do a 1v1? Uh, I'm a confused. Okay, so yeah, like I said, they have normal Vegeta. And, dude, they even have they they have a customized Vegeta Badman outfit, dude. That is crazy. Okay, so it's a team of four. Is he gonna do a team of four here again, or I'm a little confused. Okay, he's gonna go with Broly. This is just the normal standard Broly. It's not Dragon Ball Super Broly. Yeah. Is Dragon Ball Super Broly here? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, yeah, right here in the corner. Okay, okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. I think this right down here is random. I think. I have no idea. I'm just speculating. But, okay, a 4v... What, eh, Broly can handle it. Oh, okay, I didn't see the, the maps. Okay, so the maps, they have... God, he went through the maps fast. Okay, so they have Planet Namek. Uh, they have the Tournament of Power map down here. They have Universe 6, Universe 7. Wow, these maps look insane. Do they have the Hyperbolic Time Chamber or the Room of Spirit in Time? I don't see... Yep, right here on the, on the top right corner. Okay, sweet. And then they have the Future in Ruins, Kame House. Oh my gosh, dude. They, they made sure to really include everything as much as they could, dude. The map selection in Dragon Ball games has, has a big impact on Dragon Ball games. Believe me when I say it. 
Oh my god. Okay, so if you guys don't know, like basically Dragon Ball games would basically normally have like little mini games or like at least old Dragon Ball games, they would have mini games. And for this, the mini games that they're actually doing are questions. So it says which technique the Tien Shinhan use against Cell, that is obviously the tri beam. Question uh 270, I'm sorry, 721. I can't even freaking say numbers. What is the name of Tapion's younger brother, Minosha? That's square. Dude, that's insane, dude. That's really cool, dude. I I, I don't think I don't think that that's ever happened in like Dragon Ball games before but i'm sorry i wasn't paying attention to the gameplay let's look at the gameplay now okay oh okay like i said it's gonna look a little choppy that's just because it's a simulated game it's simulated gameplay so it's gonna look that way but dude this looks so good dude and i love how it has like the, the, the for the health bar it, it, this looks just like raging blast but am i with the exception of the health bars, because the health bars are basically the they, they take on the format of the Budokai Tenkaichi series or the Sparking series. But dude, this looks so good, dude. The power up. She oh my god, dude. We've I've never seen that in Dragon Ball games before, dude. That is literally insane. They they basically have cutscenes for when they're getting like hard punched. Dude, oh my god, man. That is just crazy. He put a lot of effort into this, bro. Like, really. Like, call me crazy. This looks better than Superhero. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Seven years of work into this. Oh my god, dude. That looks so sick, bro. That looks so freaking sick. Dude, the Kaioken looks so clean. I think they're gonna clash here. The Kaioken looks so freaking clean here, dude. Oh my god. Are they gonna clash? Yeah, they're gonna clash, dude. Oh my god. And they even have like the analog sticks here and below. This looks just literally, this looks just like Budokai Tenkaichi, bro. This looks just like Budokai Tenkaichi. Obviously, with the exception of the health bars. I already said that. Oh my god, dude. The animation. Is he gonna transform? I think Goku's gonna transform now. I think Goku's gonna transform now. He is. What is he going? Super Saiyan 1? Dude, this transformation scene looks so sick, bro. This legit looks like if Bud if Raging Blast was ever updated, it looks like this is the adaption that they would make. What are you doing? Piccolo's throwing a Sensu Bean? Okay, that's going to heal him. He's still a Super Saiyan, though. Was Broly going to transform as well? He is going to transform. Okay. I had no I I didn't know if he was going to do it now. I didn't know if it was going to be like a back and forth thing. Is it just me, bro? Or is it just like the Dragon Ball, like the the OG Dragon Ball music is taking me back, bro? It really is. It's really taking me back. But this looks, the, the gameplay and, and, and even the combos, it looks very similar to Raging Blast. It, it looks a lot faster paced, which will put it towards the edge of, um, what's it called? A Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Yeah, bro is going to transform again. Oh my God. Did you freaking see that? Look at that. This guy has like, when he's transforming, hang on. When he's transforming, it's like it's like a shell on his skin, and then it's like breaking. Oh my god, dude! And to think this is simulated, bro, that is crazy. That is honestly insane. Okay, so this is basically, I get, I guess this is like a, some sort, of, like a form of a clash. Basically, I think Broly's just gonna win this, or no, maybe Goku's gonna win it. Wow, imagine transforming all that just to get clapped again. Anyway, that's insane. Is Goku gonna go like Ultra Instinct or something? Okay, he's gonna go to base form. He's gonna switch with Piccolo for some reason. I think he's just displaying the switching here. Oh, he's switching to Vegeta so they can fuse. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. In order to land the, the fusion successfully, you need to hit like a pattern, dude. I, that is cr I forgot Raging Blast did that. I forgot. Okay, so they're not doing the Patora. They're gonna obviously be Gogeta. Or uh, imagine they went to like the fat little Vegeta. That would have been funny. Because you know Super Saiyan Blue, he is gonna go Super Saiyan Blue. Holy crap, dude! Look at this, bro. This looks crazy, dude. Look at that, bro. Oh my god, that looks so freaking clean. I don't think this was necessary though. Goku was still beating him. Why? Why are we going Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta? This isn't even Dragon Ball Super Broly. I don't understand. <laughs> Oh my god, the ultimate Kamehameha, dude. Oh my god. This looks insane, bro. This looks just like the anime now. This looks just like the movie now, dude. I think he was supposed to, I think that's sort of like a Dead by Daylight sort of concept where he's supposed to land it on the middle. 
Oh, sort of when you're like powering off the generator or something like that? Dude, that's insane, bro. That is literally insane. I can't believe that. We're playing the Budokai Tenkaichi uh, opening theme. Oh my god. Sparking finish, dude. That is crazy, dude. Oh my god. A Budokai Tenkaichi 3 project. I, I really hoped... I, I was re I really was hoping that when I first saw this, I thought this was an actual game that you can play, but it's just like gameplay simulation. So, oh my God, dude, that's crazy, dude. Seven years working on that, dude. I'm going to leave a link to him down in the description below. Let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys support this guy as much as you can. That was insane. And maybe we'll get a Dragon Ball Raging Blast 3 in the future, even though Sparking Zero looks a lot similar to a, a Raging Blast 3, if it were to ever exist. But I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just talking garbage. But <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Me, Goku! If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit a like and subscribe button so you can be updated for all the new content PBL Gaming makes! See ya!